Welcome back guys, I'm Rick Crawley with Achilles Heel Tactical. In the last episode, we covered the seven fundamentals. In this episode, we're gonna be covering site picture, site alignment, recovery of the sites, and information processing. Now imagine when you look at somebody, you have a gross site picture of them. Not that they're gross, but you look at them in a gross manner as they are a one human being. You're looking at all of them. Now when they start to talk to you, if they're not talking with their hands, but they're talking with you and you're hard of hearing, what do you focus on? You focus on their lips. As I focus on their lips, I re just refined my sight picture. By refining my sight picture, I'm aiming small to miss small. I know that's a cliche saying, but aim small to miss small is all it's saying, and the technical term for it is gross sight picture turned into a refined sight picture as I drive my sights and create sight alignment to that now refined sight picture, I am marginalizing human error. So sight alignment, there's two types of sights. We have single focal plane, which would be running a dot where you're now target focused and more natural. The reason that I am a huge fan of the red dot sight is because it keeps the natural process flowing. Processing information or the speed of processing information is extremely crucial to a human brain and the way we receive information and then process information to then judge information, be decisive on that information, and then execute without error. So that single focal plane, running that dot, obviously I stay target focused, I refine my sight picture. As I draw and create sight alignment, I'm just driving my dot or driving my gun to where that refined sight picture is. The dot will be there if you have good friction and leverage and you're relying on bone support and the consistency within your positioning of your head and the pressures within your two pinkies are driving that gun out, you will, you will find your dot. A lot of people have a hard time adjusting to the dot. They say, ah, I can't find the dot, I can't find the dot. Quit looking for it. Instead, rely on your mechanics, your fundamentals, drive the sights straight up to your eye. As I drive this gun straight up to my eye, it presents straight out with good pinky pressure. That dot comes in from 12, drops down to six on my refined sight picture. And that's sight alignment in a nutshell. Now, for those who do not have a single focal plane or a red dot optic, now we complicate processes. So old school technology of iron sights. Iron sights have two focal planes. We have target focus, and then we, when we drive this gun straight up and out, we now are looking at the target like this. Think of a natural process. You talk to people every day looking through one lens. One lens looking into their lens, right? So we don't talk to people like this and then have to focus on the forward or that front sight, right? This forward finger or the front sight is truly what we need to focus on as we break that shot. Without disrupting that sight alignment, we should have accuracy. Now, the speed is gonna be compromised and the accuracy is gonna be compromised at distance. The eye can only focus on one thing at a time. So I'm a huge proponent for going to the RDS site because it keeps the process of sight picture and in creating that sight alignment natural. When that gun recoils, it drives, we drive the sights straight back down on target to that refined position and we break the shot. Now the process in which we're processing that information or the term that I use for processing that information is IPS, information processing speed. Around me, 360, I'm processing information, regardless of if I'm looking at it or not, due to my senses. I can hear, I can smell, and I can see. So I can directly see out of my peripherals and in everything and process that information. I can hear the information behind me, I can smell more information and be able to process that. Talking and relating that to shooting. Information processing, if I identify a target, I position myself or I observe that target, then orient to that target. As I drive the gun straight up and present straight out and I break that shot, recovery of the sights and the speed in which I'm recovering the sights and accurately and executing the seven fundamentals over again. That is information processing in a nutshell. When we talk about the information process that we're receiving, it's the recovery of the sights, the in-flight reset of the trigger, and the execution of the seven fundamentals. The sight picture that we're driving our gun to, so if I was to look at this target and then now orient to this target, I'm refining my sight picture to in between the shoulders in line with the center line of the spine, right? 
every living, breathing thing that we're gonna shoot at, minus animals, has those, those features, right? We stand up tall, we're two-legged creatures. We have shoulders, shoulder lines, which is what? The windage, and we have a center line, which is our elevation. Windage is here and across shoulders. Elevation is from the spinal or center line. So we drive our sights there. When I look at this target, I'm gonna drive my eyes to it. I'm then going to, as I orient to the target, I'm going to refine my sight picture. As I'm creating sight alignment, I'm driving, if we're running dots, I'm just driving my dot to the target, staying target focused. If I'm running irons, this is where we now complicate, complicate a natural human response or a natural human process.